At an early stage, in the early 3rd century BC, Grumentum developed as a small Lucanian settlement allied with Rome. As Livy recounts, during the Second Punic War, Hannibal crossed Lucania and fought at the gates of the settlement of Grumentum, which had gone over to the Carthaginian side. Later, during the Social War, Grumentum was destroyed and then refounded as a Roman colony. Starting from the 1st century BC, the city achieved a considerable economic and cultural development. Major public monuments typical of Roman cities were built in the urban area, such as the theatre, a place used for stage performances of the classical world. The theatre consists of a self-supporting structure with the cavea, the orchestra and the scena, organized on three large exedras. Behind the theatre stands a domus that occupies an entire city block. The building overlooks the major street axis and has the typical structure of the Roman house, with taberne, the stores, the atrium with impluvium, the triclinium, a colonnaded quadriporticus and a large hall. The domus is rich in mosaics. There is a polychrome mosaic with a geometric theme in the apsidal lararium. The triclinium, which is the dining room, is decorated with a colored mosaic with vegetal motifs. There is a floor with a black and white geometric patterned mosaic in the Great Hall. The so-called Temple A is a small temple on a high podium. Scholars have attributed its worship to an eastern deity, possibly a Harpocrates. The city urban structure is set on a network of three major street axes, Plataeae, on which minor axes, Stenopoi, are transversely grafted at 35 meter intervals. The monumental buildings are mainly developed around the major street axis, which is still clearly visible today. The Forum was the Roman citizens' public life focal point. The most important religious, commercial and administrative buildings were located in the Forum. The square was crossed by the main road axis and was paved with stone blocks. Temple C overlooked the south side of the Forum. It is the oldest monument and it is identified as the Capitolium, dedicated to the capital in Triad. Nearby, the marble head of Livia Drusilla, uh, Capite Velato, was found. The square was enclosed on three sides by a colonnaded porticus. Outside the porticus, a monoptero, a round temple of 9 meters in diameter, is located. In the forum, opposite Temple C, Temple D stands, probably dedicated to the imperial worship. On the western side of the Forum, the Giulio Claudio building project of the square established the construction of several civic buildings. The multi-nave basilica, that is the courthouse, house, a tripartite building and a circular plan one. The complex of the major baths consists of 16 rooms with different temperatures. The rooms were decorated with luxurious marble and figurative mosaics. 
Four Roman statues were found in the absidal pool of the baths. These are currently displayed in the archaeological museum. The heating of the rooms took place with the hypocaust system through three uh, prefurnia, from which heating ducts departed under the floors, supported by suspensure and along the perimeter walls uh, through tubuli. After the entrance hall to the spa complex, there is the frigidarium, which has a mosaic floor on which is represented a marine scene with the monster Schilla, the giants and several species of aquatic animals. On the eastern terrace, the monumental remains of Gourmentum Amphitheater stand. Their layout dates back to the mid-first century BC and represents one of the oldest examples of masonry known to us. In the Roman world, the amphitheater was used for public shows, uh, such as Munera, gladiator games, and Venaciones, uh, fights between men and beasts. The elliptical arena is located in the middle. It is the place where fights took place and there was a corridor for the beasts around it. The monument has two main entrances along the main axis. It also has external double ramp staircases, reminiscent of those in the Pompeii amphitheater. The slow decline, also caused by the early Middle Ages political and economic instability, led to the final abandonment of the site during the 9th century AD. The regional museum's directorate of the Basilicata region welcomes you to this magical space where nature, landscape and archaeology tell a millenary story full of charm and fascination.